In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the entire block zero of a UID changeable card. In the last video, we saw how to change just the UID and the remaining bytes were left as it is. So a block zero consists of 16 bytes. It is not just block zero. Any block in these type of tags uh, will have 16 bytes capacity. So out of which the first four bytes are used by the UID and the next byte is the checksum and after that you got three bytes of the tag type identification and the remaining eight bytes will be the manufacturer specific data. So I've got an example here the first four bytes this is the UID and this is the the checksum it's also called the BCC and these three bytes identifies the type of the tag and the remaining bytes these are the manufacturer specific data so in the previous video we saw how to change the first four bytes and also keep in mind the BCC that this byte must match the BCC of the first four bytes so next we are going to see how to get the content of the block zero or how to read the content of block zero so what you are going to learn in this video is how to replace all the 16 bytes of uh, block zero so there are many ways to get this in fact the Arduino libraries for MFRC or PN532 come with an example called the dump info you can extract out so I've got a program if you are already using my program I'm going to show you how to uh, extract this uh, using my program if you've got ACR122U you want that also has got few examples and there are so many mobile apps which can read these type of tags where you can um, extract out the content of the block zero so this is my RFID learners kit written for ACR122U reader writer so if you have got this uh, program so after you connect the ACR122 you know we click on the show readers and I've got few uh, classic tags I'm going to just you know place them in a random so connect and we know the default key is uh, the factory key is all FFFs if you click on authenticate read sector the entire sector is read and we know that we are interested in the block zero so here itself you know you know the all the 16 bytes however if you look into the command tab and you know these are the commands that are going from the software to the reader and and back you know also say what the response so we are interested in if you look at this line it says read sector 0 block 0 and this is the command and in fact this command is a pn532 command and what you interested in is the 16 bytes data which is starting from ce because you know that the first four bytes matches the uid so i just extract out you can copy this and you can you know copy and uh, paste somewhere in a notepad so likewise you know you can do this for any number of tags I'm going to place one more connect and same thing here so extract out the value of uh, the 16 bytes starting from uh, the byte after 0 okay so I've all done that I've got um, extracted out the tax you know from uh, five uh, classic tax and I'm going to use this as a as an example to write the entire 16 bytes to the block zero of uh, UID uh, rewritable uh, cards in the last video we have used this example program called change UID and you know using this program we were able to change the UID and we also looked into 
how these type of uh, changes were done we we looked into the function called uh, mefair set uid which is uh, in the library so this time what i have done is i have returned i've just modified this program little bit to write this entire block of 16 bytes not just you know to modify the first four bytes so for that you need to open the library and i'm going to show you, you know what changes i have done so this is the folder where we got this uh, library and these two files is what we're interested in so if you come from a c programming background you know that usually most c++ uh, programs come with the two files one is the header file and the actual c++ you know file the header file will have the definition of all the functions and so the declaration of the functions and this will have the definition of the functions okay so before you change you might have to uh, change the read and write permission of this folder so sometimes these folders are set to read only you go to this and uh, set it to you know I, I've set it to uh, you can remove that okay so make this as you know uh, remove the read and write so once you do that you are able to change the library content so I have opened here in notepad plus plus so I have added a new function called uh, the set block zero and I'm passing the 16 bytes data and I'm just keeping this the log errors you know similar to the set UID so you can see that you know the difference between the set UID function and the new function I've written called set block zero so I'm not interested in passing this UID uh, separately everything is passed as uh, as 16 bytes now if you go to the CPP I made a new function here and this function if you if you just more or less everything is the same so what the function I've just kept every line as it is you know the first step in this function is to authenticate before because before you write anything to the tax would authenticate with the uh, with, with you know key A or key B so here it is uh, default key and after this you know got a series of uh, validation which I can just collapse them and see I'm passing this entire 16 byte okay so what I'm doing here is the UID is already passed in the data I just have to find the BCC the checksum which again you know this program is already there so compute the BCC of the four bytes and that BCC is stored in the fifth byte so after that the, all these things will remain the same and we still you know just this is the same the, you know that uh, backdoor opening is like sending the command 40 followed by 43 and finally here it's uh, writing this entire uh, 16 bytes to block 0 and that's all so next what I did was I took this uh, change UID example program and because you know these files are part of the library you cannot modify so you just have to go and say save as and save as you know a different uh, file which I have done here as you can see this so I'm going to open that file now go to examples also recent sketch yeah so what I have done here is you know I've just I've extracted out the 16 bytes and I've defined uh, two variables here and uh, which is uh, called blocks zero data and data two and these are the 16 bytes we extracted out of uh, uh, the uh, the ACI program or if you you can there's also one more program I can show you here which is called uh, the dump info I can run that so I'm just going to I've also connected my Arduino with the MFRC 522 let's see that it's uh, that's fine so I have just finished uh, compiling I was uploaded and I'm going to place a tag and this dump info example program is going to dump entire 16 sectors and this is what you're interested in you can extract out these 16 bytes and take it you know and and just you know that's what I did just uh, declared and copy pasted to this program okay I'm going to try writing um, 
the data set one and two one after another if you scroll down before we had a function called set uid now i replace that with the the mefair block zero and passing this data one which is just defined here and so what should happen now after i finish writing the block zero of the new rfid or new uh, card must have either this or that okay so i'm writing uh, the data two let's make this as a data one i'm going to compile so probably before we do that we can check uh, what is already in this uh, or UID changeable tags. I'm going to go back to my the dump info program again. So upload. Okay, now I've got the UID changeable card here. Let us see what's in this block zero. So the block zero has got something to do with BCC and let's copy this and we're just going to use this to verify that the write is successful. I'm going to close that. And in this program, I'm going to just copy somewhere. So it looks like now we what we have was so I will return the contents of uh, block two. So this time I'm going to write block one. Block one. So I'm going to compile. So I've got everything compiled. Let's go to this and try. Okay. So so far so good. There is no error message. So as you can see here. Um, this is a very successful or a positive message and after it after the block zero is return the entire the dump info is called which prints if you take compare this you know this is exactly what we got in block zero take this out and if you just compare you know over here so look at that so this is uh, exactly what we want to write in this one so now I'm going to change this program. Let's see whether it also, how many times you can do this. I'm going to change this time to block two and compile. So I'm going to try. Yeah, this sometimes, you know, I've noticed it's a, it's a very, very random, you know, you get this error message. So look at that. So I've noticed this, you know, quite some time, but it's a very weird thing, you know, which I don't understand. It's something to do probably with uh, stopping the crypto and ending the crypto. So what I, the solution, what I found is, you know, just close this and start all over again, uh, the serial monitor. Now try. If this also didn't work, then I just don't know why it is. So I'm going to close. I'm going to reconnect this Arduino. Take out the power from your uh, uh, USB cable from your PC and try again. Look at that. So something which, which I don't know. So if you come across this uh, problem, so you know, if you get an error message, just unplug the USB cable and try again. You can try how many times, you know, I'm, I've got two UID changeable cards. I'm going to try and see if if I can do this uh, one after another. As you can see, a uh, second card throws an error. I can't write this to the second card. Okay, so try again. No, you can't. This is an error. So close this and open the serial monitor. Try again. So there's something you know. You should get used to that. So I'm sure you know you don't keep doing this very often. So just unplug and try again. Open the serial monitor. Look at that, you're able to write. Okay, so 
so we learned now, now how to write uh, to block zero of URD changeable card and stay tuned in the next video um, I'm going to show you how to do this using the ACR122 and also uh, using the PN532 uh, board.